वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ फ्यू बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज मेन पर्पज ऑफ गाउनिंग प्रोसीजर टू बी फॉलोड इन असेप्टिक एरिया ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री आंसर इज द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ फॉलोइंग गाउनिंग प्रोसीजर इन असेप्टिक एरिया ऑफ फार्मा इंडस्ट्री इज टू प्रिवेंट कंटेमिनेशन गाउनिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर असेप्टिक एरियाज फॉर प्रोडक्ट सेफ्टी रेगुलेटरी कंप्लायंस प्रोडक्ट इंटीग्रिटी एंड ऑपरेटर सेफ्टी What is the first step in the governing procedure for aseptic areas? Remove all personal items such as jewelry and watches. Wash hands thoroughly with an antimicrobial soap. What are the important components of governing in aseptic area? There are seven common important components of governing in aseptic areas. Four of them are first hair net or cap, second beard cover, third face mask and fourth sterile gloves. The other three important components of gowning in aseptic area are fifth protective eyewear or goggles sixth gown or coverall and seventh booties or shoe covers What is use of important components of gowning in aseptic area first hair net or cap this covers the hair and prevent loose strands from falling into the sterile environment second beard cover these are used to cover beard and mustache to prevent contamination third face mask these are used to prevent respiratory droplets from contaminating the environment fourth protective eyewear or goggles these are used to protect the eyes from airborne contaminants fifth gloves gloves are used to prevent direct contact with the product sixth gown or coverall these are used to prevent contamination from skin cells and clothing fibers seventh very important booties or shoe covers these are used to prevent contamination from dirt and debris all gowning procedures should be designed to minimize the introduction of contaminants into the sterile environment basic and important why is it necessary to inspect gloves for integrity before entering the aseptic area answer is to ensure there are no tears or defects in gloves that could compromise the sterile barrier What is the primary purpose of a crossover bench in aseptic gowning areas? Crossover bench serves as a physical barrier to separate different cleanliness zones, preventing cross contamination. How should personnel use the crossover bench during gowning? Personnel should sit on bench and swing their legs over, ensuring that only their clean gown side enters the higher grade clean zone. How should sterile gloves be worn to avoid contamination? Sterile gloves should be worn using sterile technique touching only the inside surface. What is the main purpose of wearing safety goggles in aseptic areas? Safety goggles protect the eyes from exposure to harmful chemicals and prevent contamination from particles or droplets. How should safety goggles be maintained in an aseptic environment? Goggles should be regularly cleaned, sterilized and inspected for damage before each use to maintain their protective function how gowning qualification is performed for aseptic areas gowning qualification in aseptic areas of the pharmaceutical industry is a process to ensure that personnel are trained and competent in proper gowning techniques to minimize the risk of contamination it is typically involves the following seven steps first training second practice third qualification fourth observation fifth microbial testing sixth knowledge test and seventh ongoing monitoring what are the microbial sampling points during gowning qualification following are the six important microbial sampling points during gowning qualification this includes gloves sleeves chest area hood boot covers or shoe covers and other high touch areas this one is very frequently asked question question is in which area cleanliness classification gowning shall be performed grade d or iso class 8 gowning is usually performed in this area before entering higher classified areas personnel done the basic gowning attire such as coveralls shoe covers gloves and mask grade c or iso class 7 area in some cases additional gowning may be performed in grade c area to further minimize contamination before entering grade b or a areas What is the role of a gowning qualification? Gowning qualification ensures that personnel can properly gown without contaminating themselves or the environment. 
वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ असेप्टिक टेक्निक ड्यूरिंग गाउनिंग असेप्टिक टेक्निक प्रिवेंट्स कंटेमिनेशन बाय इंश्योरिंग दैट ओनली स्टराइल सर्फेसेस कॉन्टैक्ट स्टराइल गारमेंट्स एंड स्किन वॉट शुड बी डन इफ गाउन बिकम्स डैमेज और सॉइल्ड ड्यूरिंग यूज द गाउन शुड बी इमीजिएटली रिप्लेस टू मेंटेन द इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ द असेप्टिक एनवायरमेंट Why second pair of hand gloves is used in aseptic gowning procedure? The second pair of gloves provides an additional barrier against contamination. It reduces the risk of punctures or tears in the outer gloves during aseptic operations. What is the purpose of using a mirror during a gowning process? A mirror helps to ensure that the gown is properly fitted and all required areas are covered. What is use of hand sanitation during gowning procedure? Hand sanitation during the gowning procedure is used to significantly reduce the number of bacteria on hands and forearms. This one is very important question. Question is what is white side and gray side in change rooms? The gray side is the area where personnel enter from outside environment, whereas the white side is the cleaner area of the change room. basic and important what sequence shall be followed during gowning procedure the basic rule for gowning sequence is always gown from the head down to the feet and from the cleanest to the dirtiest items this minimizes the risk of contaminating clean garments or exposed skin what are the potential consequences of improper gowning in a clean room contamination risk compromised product quality batch rejection and regulatory violations are the potential consequences of improper gowning in a clean room very basic question why is it important to ensure no exposed skin or hair during gowning exposed skin can shed particles hair can release microorganisms both increases the risk of contamination in a clean room environment after gowning is complete a final check is required to ensure there is no hair or skin exposed that could allow for contamination last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for gowning procedure in the pharmaceutical industry ugmp annex 1 fds 21 cfr part 211 iso 14644-5 pics guide to good manufacturing practice and who's technical report series number 961 annex 6 are the commonly referred guidelines for gowning procedure in the pharmaceutical industry don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry